Alright guys, welcome back to the most amazing gaming channel in the world. Today we're going to be going over the patch 4.6. I'm going to make this really quick because this is the second time recording. First time it didn't actually go... It, yeah. Didn't actually record the desktop gameplay. So, desktop stuff. Um, first one I want to say, I'm going to start getting the uh, builds out again. Uh, this week has been crazy. I think I'm working like 55 hours, let alone like just yesterday, for example, I worked 15 hours. I worked from 10 a.m. to 1.30. Uh, yeah, like one. Yeah, r roughly 1.30. So anyways, long fucking day. Um, so I'm trying to get that out. If you guys don't know, you have, um, you know, Ricky Bobby. Don't or... you put that evil on me! Maybe. Don't you put that evil on me! All right, well, uh, maybe not. Basically, you have uh, Apollo's Raceway. I think it's stupid. Fix your, master your game before putting on mini games. Like, come on. Like, we all know that there's still a bunch of shit that needs to be fixed. Um, I mean, I don't know personally. I, I'm, I'm split. I'd rather have them fix their game, but I know when they put this shit out there, all the real people that like to play Smite are still gonna play their, like, the actual, like, Conquest and shit. Um, and all the, like, the casuals, like, the actual fucking casuals are like, Oh my god, let's go play this Mario Kart Smite Edition! Fuck, good. Get out of my games, because I'm tired of you guys being plebs. Uh, miscellaneous fixed a few issues where their base attacks with on the K screen. This isn't a big issue. It was just the values were being uh, portrayed wrong. Uh, Rod of Asclepius now has a 10% reduced uh, healing in a sense. Just because it was getting very, very strong. Because of that, they uh, nerfed uh, Rod of Healing as well. Taking that in half as well. Uh, or taking it down 5%, I shouldn't say half. Uh, Runic Shield, because it was just not really a, any item to pick up. Uh, especially now that, why would you pick this up as a hunter um, when you can pick up Silver Branch Bow? So, Runic Shield, I still don't think is going to be ever really picked up. But because it wasn't really a good offensive or defensive item, they tried to add 100 health. Overall, not a big issue. Uh, Shield of Thrones, a fixed issue where the tooltip displayed the incorrect percent reflect. Um, as long as it was just the tooltip... Awesome, but if the actual damage was, I don't see this being an issue, but good job nonetheless on getting that fixed. Athena's ultimate used to, or could cause her to gain collision against allied units. Um, I don't think I ever really ran into this because of this issue, word right there, could. Still, I think it's a good issue. I mean, if you're knowing that these are, you know, causing an issue, it's good to get it fixed. A Wheelix. Now, not sure what they mean by T-pose. Um... I don't know, last person I know to T-Pose, never mind, I don't want to make a Jesus joke. Alright, if hit by a uh, transform, I think this just basically means that she could mount her pa panther and get on out. Um, and basically, like, be fine where she can just be like, ah, oh, I'm no longer polymorphed. Hades, overall, I just want to start saying this is an amazing freaking patch for Hades. Um, he's a mage, we all know this, he used to be a guardian, for those that don't know. Mage, awesome! Make him a mage, have him do damage. Because that increased basic attack speed, I think is awesome. You can now apply Blight uh, quicker and more effectively. Uh, reduce the base health. Again, he's a mage, not a... What mage should have almost 500 health right out the door when, like, fucking Capri barely has this much? Um, so I think this is a good change. Uh, make him more of a mage. Also reduce his physical protection because he's a mage. Now, if this was all they do, I'd be fucking pissed. But look at this. Now they increase the damage. Uh, starting at 20 to 25, 30, 35... 40, I believe. No, wow, well, that actually scaled incredibly high. Um, it was 20, 35, 50, 20. Oh, it looks like it's going up by 50. So this one, yeah, going up by 80 damage. I don't know. I'm bad with math. But overall, this is good. This is his one ability. So now it's actually going to do damage. Um, and 190 max damage mage ability is fucking shit. Unless the scaling was 100%, but come on. Overall, not the greatest. And my animals are destroying my green screen. That is awesome. All right, reduce amount of cost of Shroud of Darkness from 80 to 60. Again, he's a mage. I'm glad that this is coming on down. Um, you can actually kind of, you know, use it more, you know, risk-free in a sense. Uh, Devour Souls. I think this is a very good one, too. Reduce the mana cost by, well, it starts at 5, and it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Having an 80, that's really, really going to help your uh, mana cost here. And you know, be able to use your three more often. As a, as a well, as they added an effects to actually show the radius of the detonate uh, that happened. So this is awesome. Pillar of Agony. Early game, they're not really buffing it, but late game, they're going to add 80 to 100. That's going to give you an extra 20 protections. It's awesome. I think it's really cool, too, that it no longer applies or consumes the Blight. Uh, this is kind of an issue to always continue to have your Blight on the enemy and not, like, completely 
like get screwed there. Um, so I think that's a good change as well. As well as Blighted Targets will now have their magic protections reduced before taking the first tick of damage, not on the first tick of damage. So that first tick is going to do a lot more damage now because you're going to strip them from, you know, their protections. How ye? Overall, I think this is a bad... Yes, it's very, very small amount. Very small. You have increased base power from 38 to 40. It's not a big deal. Increase the basic attack speed by 0.05. Again, it's not that big of a change, but overall, I don't like it. How Yi is a late game god. He's a late game hunter. You, if you're going up against any skilled How Yi, a 1v1, I don't care if you're Rama, I don't care if you're Scotty, I don't care, okay, maybe Rama, because Rama can be uh, pretty pretty deadly there. Uh, but How Yi, with his passive of only being able to be crit once every three seconds, he's going to be able to destroy you. If he lands a good double tap, Late game, he's going to get the stun, he gets the mark of the crow, he can like ult or whatever, he probably doesn't even need to ult, he hits like the double tap stun, he hits you in two like fucking autos and you're dead. Um, by give, buffing his early game, a fed how ye now is completely game over as long as the how ye is actually good at how ye and it's not me going, well I haven't played him a bit, let's give it a shot. Like, yes, overall I think the reason behind this is bad. Um, because you're buffing a late game hunter's early game because the entire game right now is centered around get the early game kill because most games don't go late game. There we go. So that's kind of really annoying. Uh, Kukulkin, uh, fixed an issue where Kukul had, uh, invisible basic attack. Uh, it's kind of an issue, you can't dodge or can't see. Medusa, uh, last rate would highlight minions. I think this is awesome because for people that don't main Medusa or even really play ADCs that often, example myself, um, highlighting minions um, as if they would be hit by last rate was kind of deceitful. Uh, you could think that, oh, I'll just acid spray and dash through the min wave. When in reality, you wouldn't, and then you wouldn't stop at the min. So I think this is good as well, getting that uh, fix, like fixing the effects in a sense. Uh, also, fixed an issue will Acid Spray would not highlight enemies behind Medusa statues. I think this is awesome too, because without the statues, you get that huge damage increase from the statues. By going, well, I don't know if it's actually going to hit them. I think this is a good change there. Uh, Nemesis, uh, you couldn't use her second dash if her mana was below a certain amount. Kind of an issue since you're trying to push her back into the meta. Speaking of meta, why the fuck did this guy never be played? This guy is still a freaking amazing mid laner. I don't know why he really came out, except for they released a couple others, and people now are going back to the whole Scylla thing. But, I mean, all in all, Raiju's, Raijun's passive would not correctly consume by Raiju. Raiju's still incredibly strong. Ravana, want to throw this out there as well. Mystic Rush, this is his ultimate. Increases damage um, by basically 50 across the board. Pretty awesome. Being honest, don't know what this link target me mechanic was. Um, so I guess it was removed, so might need to look in on that. I might actually say something right here. Um, yep, now provided, yep, not quite sure. The old linking ended up being both difficult to use and confusing to play against. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite e even sure what this was. Uh, if you do know, throw it down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and then now provides a 50% damage reduction buff to Ravana. So that is incredibly strong. So he can jump into the back line or front line or wherever the fuck you want to jump. And you'll immediately start taking that 50% reductions. This is incredibly strong. Enemies now hit by Mystic Rush, though, take a 10% increased damage from all sources. Now I want you to think about this for a moment. You go ahead, you Sunder, and then you ult with Ravana. Ravana with Sunder could definitely be a thing because that's going to increase. This is from all sources. Not just you, from all sources. Ravana's definitely, I'm going to probably start uh, kind of playing him in some casuals here, trying to get him out because I think he can be a definitely a huge uh, issue now. As well as Mr. Crush can how he hit minions, so you can actually clear minions with this, not dive in, start tanking tower, get the kill, but now minions did 600 damage because they're fucking overpowered. I think that's really awesome that this is, I think this is a huge change to Ravana, and I think it's going to put him back in the meta. I'm definitely going to be trying him out, so watch out for those videos there. Winter's Grasp. Uh, for those that don't know how Scotty's ultimate worked, this is her ultimate. Uh, basically, Caldeer would go down to one health. You'd pop the ult. He becomes immune for like the five seconds or the duration of the ultimate. And then he also heals himself back up to full health. With this, I think that uh, by having them take away, 
Caldir being immune to damage in this ability is amazing. I love this change because essentially you had to run and you could not fight. There was no reason. Like, you could not fight this because unless you were Rama and you could shoot through, um, Caldir would tank all the hits. So Scotty had like a free minion to never die. <laughs> so he's now going to heal on activation, but he won't be immune, which I think is an awesome change. Fixed an issue with Spectator Clan. I don't know. Cooldowns. No one really cares about Morgan. And lastly, Zeus. Uh, fix an issue where Zeus charges would not appear correctly, which is kind of an issue, because then you don't know, oh, well, I mean, do I have two? Do I have three? Do I have one? I need to know if I need to Aegis this, because I have 400 health. I should survive two, but three, I'm probably gonna die. Um, anyways, guys, that was basically patch 4.6, or, I mean, I don't know, as they want to call it, uh, Smite Mario Kart. Anyways, guys, I do appreciate it. If you did like it, give it a like, comment, subscribe. And again, I'm going to start trying to get some of those videos out. Um, I got two days off this week, so I'll start trying to bust them out on Monday. So uh, if you want, stop by the stream. I'll be doing a bunch of that, and hopefully I don't get that streamer's curse where I cannot win a game. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until the next time, have yourself a fucking amazing life.